Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to display or fetch data from Firebase real-time database. So let me show you what we will do in this tutorial. We will display our data in a simple recycler view. And once you add a contact, it will be displayed immediately. So let's add a contact number. And once you click on save contact, the contact will be saved in our Firebase and will be displayed. And as you can see, our contact has been added to our recycler view. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so if you are not familiar with the structure that we have for the UI, I recommend you to go back and watch the previous tutorials where we built the UI for the app from scratch and connected the app to Firebase. So in this tutorial, I will only show you how to display data from Firebase real-time database. So as we have mentioned in the previous tutorial, we have a contact view model. This class acts as a controller. So we have most of our logic here, such as adding data to Firebase, displaying data, updating and deleting data. So for adding data to Firebase, Base, we had the mutable live data with a type of exceptions so that we can observe on this whether the data has been saved to Firebase or not. And for displaying data, we need to do the same but with a contact type. So we need to keep an eye on our database whether any contact has been added to the database or not. So we need to have a private val contact and this is mutable live data and the type of this is contact and just like that we had one mutable live data and we need the live date so that we can observe on it so val contact and the type of this live data and obviously the type is contact again and we need to get this from our private contact so once we have this, we need to add a child event listener to our database so that we know if a new contact has been added or not. So let's go down here and create an object, a private one. So private val child event listener. And this is an object with a type of child event listener. And just like that, we have an object and we had an error because we need to implement some members. And the members are these and click on OK. So once you imported all the members, such as on child added, this is responsible whether a new contact has been added so that we can display it. This is for an update and this is for a delete and this is for moving contact up and down and this is for cancel. So in this tutorial, we only work on this because we only want to display our data in a recycler view. So let's remove these for a moment to make it simpler to read. So let's create one contact object and we get this object from the snapshot that we have. So snapshot.get value and we need to get our contact Java class. And just like that, we had a snapshot of our database and stored in this one. So we need to get the ID of each contact that we have and store it in this contact object. So contact, and this is equal to the snapshot dot key. And we need to add this contact object in our mutable live data so that we can keep an eye or observe on it, whether a new contact has been saved to the database or not, so that we can display it. So contact dot value, and this is equal to the contact that we have which cannot be null. And once we have this object, we need to pass this object to add child event listener on our database connection. So let's create this function get real time update and then db contact dot add child event listener. And then we need to pass the object that we have, which is child event listener. And this function will be called in our contact fragments so that we know if a new contact has been added to the database. If so, then display it. And it's also good practice to overwrite on clear so that we remove the event listener once the fragment is clear. So override function on clear. And this we need to get our db contact start remove event listener. And then we need to pass the child child even listener to this. And this is it for this class. And now we need to go to our recycler view, which is our contact adapter. So in our recycler adapter, we have one context, which is a mutable list of contacts. So this is an array of contacts that we have, and we need to get the size of this so that we know how many cards or layout to recycle. And once we have recycled, we need to bind the view holder. So we need to tell what to display. And if you go to the recycler view contact.xml file, as you can see, we have have two text views. The first one is for the name and the second one is for the contact. So we need to get these ID and bind the new data to them. So if you go to contact adapter in on binding view, we need to get the holder and in our holder, we need to get our binding object and we have view name and we have view contact. For the view name, we need to set the text 
and we get this from the contacts array that we have and then we need to pass the index or the position and then we have full name so just like that we binded our full name from the mutable list that we have to our text view name that we have in xml so that we can display it in the right position and we need to do the same for the contact number so holder dot binding dot text view contact dot text and this is equal to contacts and then we need to pass position and we have what we have contact number all right so once we have done this we need the way to add to this contact mutable list so at this point our contact mutable list has no data so we need to pass the data to this which will create a function to do this and push these new contacts from context fragments so let's create that function function add contact and this would accept contact with a type of contact and in here we need to check if the contact exists in our mutable list or not so we only need to add if the contact does not exist in our mutable list so we need an exclamation and then contact and dot contains and then we need to pass our contact that we are passing to so we are comparing this contact with this list that we have so if this contact exists in this contact mutable list then we do not add it or else we have to add it so this exclamation will negate it so if it does not exist then we need to add our contact to our contacts mutable list so contacts.add and then we are passing contact to it and do not forget to notify your layout so notify data set changed and this is it for this class we just binded our views here and we had to add the new contacts to the contact mutable list data now we need to put everything together in context fragment so in context fragments we need to observe on the contacts that we have here so we need to observe in this whether a new contact has been added to our firebase or not so to access this class Class. from contacts fragment we need to create an object of context view model so let's do that private late init var and then we will call this view model and the type of this is context view model and then you need to go to on create view and we need to initialize our view model so our view model equal to view model providers with an s guys keep an eye on this dot of fragment the fragment is this and then we need to get our class model so contacts view model and this is java class and just like that we initialize our view model and to add an observer we need to go to on view created and here we need to add an observer for our contacts mutable live data that we have in our contact view model so we need to access this object live data to see if a new contact has been added so view model object the one that we just created and then we need to access contact and then we need to observe on this and then pass view lifecycle owner and then observer and here we need to access our adapter class to pass new data to this so adapter dot add contact and then we need to pass it which is this contact so we are observing on the view model if any contact has been added to the firebase if so get it and pass it to our adapter class so that we add it to this context mutable list and display it on our card views and do not forget to get this get real time function in our context fragment so view model dot get real time update all right so it's really simple you just need to get around how to interact between these classes in our view model this is the controller that we have and this class is responsible for adding deleting updating displaying data and our contact adapter class is just to bind our data to the recycle view so that we display it and in our context fragment this is where we get everything together so to see the result of what we have done just run your app all right guys so at this point we have one contact and to add one more contact to see how it will be displayed so james hot and then contact and if you click on save contact and just like that we have added and displayed our contact all right guys this is it if you really enjoyed this tutorial please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything and see you guys in the next video where i will show you how to update a data